Welcome back folks, Cheap Pete's Garage. Today we're going to do a cold start wheel run on the 1959 Ford F-250. It's got a 223 six cylinder. Well, it could even be a 262, not 100% sure. Anyway, this thing hasn't been started for probably like the rest of my last videos, three to four years. I did put a battery in it. It does crank over. I got it ready to dump gas in it. But before we do that, we can do a little walk around, take the tour. This old girl is the step side long bed version. Not all that horrible bad of condition. We've had this thing since, I want to say 1996 ish. It's had some Bondo fiberglass and whatever, and down in the bottoms of fenders, cab corners. Of course, it's been used for storage. Hard to see. You need a steering box. This has got a mile of play in it. Let's see what, what you will of it here, anyway. Sawed-off shifter that they shortened up. Got the fancy dingle balls going around the headliner and carpeting. Somebody thought this was a pretty swanky machine, apparently, at some point. So enough of the gabbing. I'll take and let you guys watch. Pour some fuel in it and see what happens. Kind of like the other ones, I'm not going to take and put any fuel in the tank since it's just kind of a waste. So, let's get after it and see what happens. Go ahead, assistant. Go get in there. Alright, first start in three or four-ish years. Give a whirl. Keep going. Off. Well, it looks like this one we're going to have to take and fiddle with the points a little bit. All 
Alright, turn it over. Oh, they are sparking in there. Not real strong, but they're sparking. Key off. Crank it over. Scrape some of that off there. That might be why it ain't making contact in there. The fire that was. We got fire at the points. Well, the moisture must have blew in there or something. All right, crank it over. Okay. Well, we got spark now. All right, go ahead and hit the keys. If anything happens. Hey, look at that! Works better when you got fire to it. Somebody's screwed in a gauge. Down there. Along with their oil center switch. Yeah, the old belt's pretty misaligned with the generator, too. Know what this thing's got for exhaust on it? Just a regular old muffler of a turn down there, and the carburetor's out of gas. Yep, that was kind of neat. Fill the old carb up and run her again. That'll good run engine. Yeah, that should be enough to satisfy it for a minute or so. 30 seconds, depending on how much we rev it up. 
All right, go ahead. Get her a couple wraps. Rev it up. <laughs> Start it up. What? The throttle. <laughs> what do you do to the throttle? You couldn't rev it up? Come here. <laughs> oh. Got a heater duct working the way too. Well. Yeah. Alright, I got it back into place. Oh, you should be able to push the throttle down. Just feather it a little bit, like I told you before. Let me fill the bowl back up. Oop, I think the bowl's full. Yeah, that's a little sticky there. Apparently it's got some leakage hanging down there too. Not sure what that's all about. Yeah, it is. Alright, go ahead and start it. Nothing too exciting for sound, but this is a six cylinder with a red muffler. You can see the generator light out. Yeah, it must charge. Turn the key off. I don't know what, how much coolant this thing's even got in it. Turned out a little bit, but it looks pretty dry in the radiator. But anyway, you know, you guys do see that it does run. Successful cold start. Will it run after three, four ish years? Had to scrape off the ignition rotor a little bit because it was rusty, but otherwise it came right to life. I was telling about the 100 mile play in the steering. Look at that, you can turn that thing all the way back and forth before it has any contact. No gears in that steering box must be really bad. But anyway, I guess I'll leave you guys with that. You guys like content like this? Will it runs, cold starts, just kind of messing with derelict old garbage in general. Consider subscribing to the channel. So, until the next one, thanks for watching. Bye.